Hello everyone, my name is Kibinator and welcome to Karen and Outrage Simulator. Now, this is the same. From, this is from the same people that made Always, Always Sometimes Monster. And when I saw this today, I thought, yes, I need to play this <laughs> because who who wants to be it? Who? What does a Karen actually think? I mean. Yeah, anyway, let's go. Oh, uh, just a disclaimer if you get offended by anything you see in this playthrough, I'm not sorry. I'm just gonna say that right now. So, hey, if you want to comment below, blah blah blah, I don't care. So, anyway, let's go. Let's see what hell we just got, got ourselves into. Which difficulty we'd like to play on? Normal mode. <laughs> Normal mode will provide a very mild challenge. Carrot mode is for when you deserve to win. <laughs> I think we'd have to go for the full on carrot mode. No, uh, carrot mode is selected. You can always change difficulty from the home menu in the hub map. Brilliant. Oh. God. Okay, is that what I look like? Okay, what's in the home menu? Okay, never mind. So we're going to the con mart apparently. It was a normal Tuesday morning like any other. The birds were chirping and the sun was shining. Karen was cleaning out her purse and found something. It was a coupon. Good for 50% of a bag of big crisp chips. There was only one problem. It expired on Monday. Oh no. What are we going to do? Uh, hello, welcome to Conmark. How can I help you today? Um, hi. I have this coupon I like to redeem. It says I can get it, get a bag bag of chips for half price. So let me have a look at that. Uh, is there a problem? Well, it, it expired yesterday. I'm sorry, but I can't accept this. Oh no, we are not, we don't like that. Needs me to just represent the cashier's reserve. Okay. Oh, I've just seen a free gap meter as well. Okay. They have a finite amount of confidence, indifference, and impatience. Impatience, sorry. Use your arguments to whistle down the reserve and get your way. Woo! Okay. Argument strategies. Intimid intimidate them. To wear down their confidence, guilt them to wear down their indifference, annoy them to wear down their patience. Successfully navigating the conversation is key to victory. Keep an eye out on your free cap meter though. If you if your free cap meter fills up, you lose your cool and go crazy. I don't see anything wrong with that. There are always people with cameras around, ready to capture the scene. <laughs> okay. You wouldn't want to become a bad meme, would you? Good point. What do you mean you can't accept the coupon? Did you eat it right? I was busy yesterday. Let's take it anyway. Oh, it's no. So is there? Okay, so obviously we want our half price because we are. We want to make or save as much of as we can. So, did you read it right? Did you read it right? Are you sure you got the, that you got the date? Yes, I, I double checked it. it. Expired at midnight yesterday. My apologies. Oh, don't give me that. Uh, this is a terrible customer service. You're not doing your job right. This is terrible customer service. Oh, is it? I'm sorry to disappoint. I empathize with your situation, but my hands are tied. No, I don't think they are. Le Come on, you can help. Come on, you can help if you want to. I know you won't get in any trouble with your boss. Well, neither of us know if, it's, if that's true. Ma'am, I can't process this transaction. Sorry, I'm just a, a new employee in training. Oh, ho, 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 ho. It doesn't matter how new you are. You, you're being an idiot. I've been coming here forever. The customer's are right. You won't be able to keep your job. I'm going to get you fired over this. 
Alright, let's take the tips. I don't want any trouble. I'll pay the full. <laughs> Okay, he'll pay it for himself. Please, let me finish and move on. I knew you'd see sense eventually. Here's the money, you can keep the receipt. I'll take my tips, jeeps, chips, and leave. Oh no, they're not even there. Ugh, oh, they only have sour cream flavour. Oh, okay. I thought we were going to fight over that as well. Why? <laughs> oh God! You're off to the cafe. We're off to get our Bandil coffee, which is already expensive in. That is uh, some beans, milk, and possibly sugar. But anyway, let's move on. I know that because I used to work at one. After her victory at the uh, victory at the car mart, Karen's in the mood for celebration. She sets out for her favourite coffee shop, the local Star Cups. Yeah, I worked there before. On the way, she placed her order using the handy mobile app. All she wanted was a simple drink. Oh, this is too close to home. A garden mo mochaccino with almond milk, six pounds of syrup, java tip, six pounds of espresso, first non daily whipped cream, and double vegan. Double vegan? What the hell? What, what is that? Double. F oh. Okay. Remember, Kibby, you are Karen for the day. Well, this playthrough, you're not Karen anyway. Anyway, double vegan fair trade chocolate sauce at exactly 95 degrees Fahrenheit. And like I said, yep, I, I, this is a sort of, well, this is obviously too much, but that's the use, order I used to get. <sighs> anyway, hi, welcome to Star Cups. What can I get you today? Um, I'm here for my mobile order pickup. Sure thing, name, Karen. Yep, it's right on the pickup lane to, to your right. Oh, okay, okay, thanks. Oh, what's wrong with it? Something wrong, ma'am? Yes. I asked for a grande macchiato. <sighs> oh, yeah. A grande macchiato with almond milk, six pumps of syrup, java tips, six pumps of espresso, first, first non daily whipped cream, a double vegan, fair trade chocolate sauce at exactly 95 degrees Fahrenheit. <sighs> This is got the macchiato with cashew milk, six pounds of syrup, java tips, six pounds of espresso, fessy not and dairy whipped cream, and double vegan fair trade chocolate sauce, and exactly 95 degrees Fahrenheit. <sighs> How can you tell the difference? Can't you guys get? Can you get eyes? Give us. I can say a long list, but I can't say this. Can't you guys get a simple order right? Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Let me make you a drink right away. But this one is long as well. I guess I know how people work when they come to a coffee shop. Sorry, mix up, ma'am. Please enjoy your first drink. No, that's not enough. I want a full refund as well. For fuck's sake. <sighs> okay. A refund? Yes, a refund. Uh, you ruined my experience. I see the fine print of my app. I could have been. A ah, I could have been allergic. I could have been allergic to the cashew milk. Did you ever think you might get. You might have killed me? Oh, well, I suppose you have a point. Now, all I dream to come with a blanket and as your warning on them. I understand your frustrations. But, uh, um, okay. Your drink was absolutely complex, though. It doesn't matter what I ordered. That's your responsibility. That's your responsibility. It's literally your only job. Not quite, but okay. If you can't get that right, what are you even working here? There's a lot more to my job than just serving drinks. There's a whole business to run, ma'am. You got a drink you asked for, there's no need there's no need for a refund. You know what? Oh. 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 oh no. I'd like to speak to the manager. I am the manager. <laughs> oh, I knew that was 
coming. Oh, I think I did before I recognised this. Oh well. Ha 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 ha! What? That's impossible. Oh, someone's got the phone out. I oh, saw you, ma'am. I'm the man who's at this location. I. No, I. I know the man. Well, I know the man's so not. You're not him. You're lying, and I know it. No, the old man's who got fired after the incident. I got promoted after that, so I, now I'm manager. You should just leave. I'm not going anywhere. I'll call. Uh, I'll tell everyone online about this travesty. I'm very prolific in several Facebook groups, you know. Fine. I give you a damn refund. Just stop yelling at me. Just sit you drinking your money and get out of my shop. You're the most ridiculous woman I've ever met. I'll freak out just quite high. Maybe you shouldn't have messed with me. So long. Uh, someone's... Ugh, it's gone cold. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh god, this is, this is the best game ever. Okay, I'm just gonna save down and down. Ooh! So, spa, fuso, or restaurant. Let's go to the spa. After the time of day of getting her way, <laughs> Karen needed a break. We've seen the demands of yelling at teens in the park and arguing about parking spaces, she needed to unwind. Definitely to them, anyway. Cameron needed a massage to work out all the tensions she collected. As she posted a ma maxi relaxing spa, nothing could sour her mood. Or so she thought. <laughs> yeah. Good afternoon, ma'am. Why have you got your hand up? I'm not holding the gun, am I? Ka oh god, Cameron has a walked in with a gun, I see. Oh god. Welcome to Maxi Relaxy Spa. Can I get your name for your appointment verification? Yeah, I'm Karen. Just one moment, one minute, please hold. I see it, you in our apartment calendar. However, there's a minor issue. I issue? Uh oh. Yes, we're going to have to push your appointment back a few minutes. The group before you is no later than expected. Now, normally that would be fine for me personally. I don't mind waiting. But this is Karen. <laughs> My apologies. I don't think she can wait. That's unacceptable. I want to be seen right now. I'm really, really sorry. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do. You're a masseuse. You're a masseuse? Is it masseuse? I'll be available immediately. If you like, you're more than welcome to take a seat in our relaxing lobby while you wait. I don't have time to take a seat. <laughs> mm. There we go. Oh, there they are. Just one moment. <laughs> Hi ladies, are we all finished for today? Oh, here we go. Actually, no. It, it's my big day and I still don't feel relaxed. Tell your ma ma massage boy that he we want another hour. Oh, um, there are other clients booked but I'll see what I can do. I've have we just been confronted by another Karen? This is where Karen's fight. <laughs> Are they... <laughs> Our spa is like the Karen box you mean or something. Great, so now I can go in? Not necessarily. You see, it's that woman's wedding day and she asked for a second massage. If that's okay with you. <laughs> uh oh, she so wants to take my slot? After making me wait? She's got another thing coming. Oh god. Oh god. Hey, you! Oh no, there's two cameras in the fight. Me? <laughs> What's the big deal? You're holding everyone up. And now you want to take my appointment? Oh, oh my god. This old woman's totally lost it. Uh oh. Uh oh. DRAMA! 
Oh, what's happening? <laughs> this is a boss battle! <laughs> I was joking! <laughs> How is a boss battle? <laughs> My problem? Uh, you are... Uh, you are a bitch. My massage has been pushed back, all because of you. And then you're taking, you're trying to take my slot? Oh, I'm so sorry. Not. Today's my big day. I'm not gonna have time. I don't have time to care about your problems. You know what? You're disgraceful. Ooh, that's a lot. Absolutely, absolutely no class whatsoever. You need to understand something. Nobody cares if you're getting married. Oh. Oh, nobody cares about your opinion. You're just some dumb loudmouth who likes to get to be heard. Burn. <laughs> <laughs> loudmouth. I'm loud, but you're dumb. <laughs> if you don't like getting screamed at, maybe you should smart up, princess. So pay attention because you're not getting my time slot. I pre booked this months ago on the early bird special. <laughs> oh my god. This isn't even paying full price. Embarrassing. Oh, would you? <laughs> hey. You just need to relax and recognize what's going on. Look at the world. Look at our lives. <laughs> We're also overworked. Nobody has time for mistakes. We can't afford to make concessions for one another. Everything is calculated and controlled to the minute. A billion things to do and only a thousand minutes to get them done. The demands of our jobs, family, families and communities. Social pressures demanding we, we be the best at all of them. At all times. It compounds in the culture that lies say that we have it all. Don't blame me Terra for these shortcomings. Blame our system for selling entitlement and privilege. Blame our culture for placing hum humanity with desire. You both need to relax. Relax. And re realize that your enemy is not another person. It's capitalism that's to blame. Shut up. Seriously. You don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, we're nothing alike. Exactly. I'm young, gorgeous, and I have a whole life ahead of me. Meanwhile, this crone is sitting old and crappy. Listen here, you little tart. You're worth it, but it's best all you have to matter. Your marriage won't last. That's the one. That's the one that drives in. I can already tell. Knowing your type, you spend longer in wedding prep than actual marriage. You don't have to. You don't have what it takes to be a real wife. Real wife. Real wife, apparently. So drop the delusions and get out of my way. Oh, that's an awful lot of protecting. Is everything okay, help? Or are you here because you can't get re any relief from your husband? Hoo hoo you know nothing. Freedom says it all. You'll be alone and painless in a few months, guaranteed. Always be a bimbo airhead with nothing real to offer a man. Repeat. Forget it, you hag. I don't have the time to listen to you. I don't have to listen to you, sorry. I'm going back in, there's nothing you can do about it. Don't you turn your back on me. You're not taking my appointment. Oh no, what we're gonna do? Good luck stopping me when you're soaking wet. <laughs> Is he missed? <laughs> I'll be okay. That's what you get when you mess with me. <laughs> oh dear. I feel like I should do one freak out. I kind of don't want to finish the entire game. Um, let's go. <laughs> As she drove around town in her minivan, a ghastly sight caught Karen's eye. Through the rear of the mirror, she spied that several 
strands of her hairdo have fallen out of place. Viewing her, her style as a pivotal part of her personality, she sought to rectify it immediately and made a beeline to her favourite salon. Without a signature look, Karen felt unremarkable and without identity. This one to DC understand, it was not what's made her unique. Hmm. Okay, honey, I'll be back in a little bit. Just gonna take this new haircut out for a walk. Whatever. Don't worry, Mama Bear. Mama Bear. <laughs> we'll take good care of her. You're the best. Uh oh, both got the same hairstyle. Excuse me. Well, Dal. How do you? Well, Dalfo. Is that his name? Well, Dalfo. Karen? What's the top of darling? Okay, we're back to normal. Oh, don't play down with me. I ought to sue you, that woman. You betrayed me. You betrayed me. Tell they stab me in the back. You can't just give another woman my hairstyle. That's a violation of our friendship. It's basically identity theft. Fuck me. Seriously? Honey, darling, baby girl. Oh, I don't like that. Don't like that at all. You need to understand something. You don't own that style. You don't know, own anything. Seriously. Suddenly, Verna's face hardened. The veneer of a kind kind silence erupted in an instant. Replaced by the cold, unreasonable expression of someone who had dealt with the likes of Karen too many times before. Oh! Uh oh. Karen can no longer read her old friend. She was blind to his inner workings. You need sex to have Karen. I don't need his attitude in my salon. Attitude? What attitude? You come in here barking at me over some uh, someone else's haircut. What do you want me to do about it? Isn't it obvious? When she gets back, I want you to save her head. You can't be serious. Oh, I'm serious, Vado. Uh, confidence. What? What would be for? Uh, I say confidence. The confidence in the hair, hairstylist. Uh, hairstylist. Sorry. Stylist, one, two. Let's go. Let's let's attack his confidence. Do it or else. Or else what? You don't want to find out. So better get that trimmer ready. It's happening as soon as she gets back. You're off your rocket, Karen. I'm not doing shit, and you're not the boss of me. So either set your trap or get lost. You need to realize something when I was up with our door. I was the first client. What, does, what would that do? I was your first client. I've been with you since the beginning. Right when you opened this place, I was there. Don't try to make this emotional, Karen. It's not going to work with me. You're not as important to me as you think. <sighs> hey, are you going to cut my hair or what? Not now, Anderson. I've got to put those bits in their place. <laughs> Whatever. Listen, Karen. You don't. You didn't invent anything. That style has always existed. People like you have always existed. You're just the latest version. Oh, I've gone for a long, a long story now. Since the dawn of time, your kind has walked the earth. Oh God! Even before we knew how to speak. Oh god. Unk unk. <laughs> I'm not I'm not mean on these. <laughs> oh dear. Oh there's only a few, that's fine. Through the ages your predecessors have just been the same. You exploit everyone around you for your personal whims. Uh oh <laughs> Cleopatra, faster you worthless dog, my tomb won't construct itself. Please, I need to rest. My body's going to give out. I beg, just a sip of water. Karen. 
least I care for your troubles. <gasps> oh my god, this is brilliant. The cruelty of your type is dealt undo others has no unknown has no no known limits. Even when the stakes are out of the utmost extreme. Uh, oh god. It is blatant that this woman is a witch. There is no other explanation for persistence, youth and beauty. See how see half turned my husband's eyes eye wandering. Also my crops failed, so my lady, please. I'm only 22. I had nothing to do with your cops. Heresy! <laughs> the hell must have suffered a witch to live. Burn the enchantress before she exercises all. Oh, what the fuck am I doing with my life? It doesn't end with you either. Everyone knows that the toxicity you create will always exist. I demand you accept the terms where you comply. Whatever that says. Whatever that says. No. Then you'll be destroyed. <coughs> so, Karen, do you understand? You need to get off your go of your bullshit now, because it's not going to work. I know all about you and who you are at the core. You're not special. You're not unique. Nothing about you is original, descent, distinctive, or fresh. You're just a bad old trope that we're all tired of. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I'm not even offended. I never know what a trope is. You only think you know me. Uh, now I'm aff well. Now I'm offended. I don't know. I think we're gonna go for a freak out. If I just like this. Well, now I'm offended. These ridiculous ideas are absolutely atrocious. I have no idea you're har you harbour such resentment or well, doubtful. I've been a, mo a model customer and you know you've crossed the line. I'm glad you're offended. Ho, oh, oh. you've been a nightmare since day one. It's a relief to finally speak my mind. Karen, I'm warning you. Don't fuck with my customers or you'll regret it. Oh, we're gonna freak out. Pfft, we're gonna freak out. Hey, I'm back. Sorry it took so long. I stopped in my garden across the front parking lot. Oh, hey, we got the same hairstyle. Isn't that funny? <laughs> oh, dear. Not for long, you phony. Ravaldo, give me those scissors. Not a chance, Karen. You've lost it. This is not going to end well. Better get on video. Get out of my way, Ravaldo. This is the fucking Ben. Now it's your turn, phony. There can only be one. <laughs> oh. Oof, okay. <laughs> I'll pretend balance the order of things. Now, take a good look at yourself and always remember this. Now see, it's not that bad. Kind of fast, don't you think, Alison? Kind of hot, not gonna... Oh! <laughs> no, 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 no. What? Well, uh, I don't know. Not, not expected, I guess. Better than this fix with the rig at least. Oh, you should not have said that. You should not have said that. Listen to here though, but Are we punching or are we cutting your hair? Oh god. Wouldn't take how and jealous of a new haircut, new style. A sub a sub credit does that again to say well for you and abnormal people lose their shit in public settings. 69 million members, da da da, created there, upload meltdown, da 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 da. Okay. It. Oh, so we, <laughs> so we have to win. Okay. 
Anyway, with that, I'm just going to end this episode. I'll probably end the game here. I don't know if I'm going to play it again. But if this gets a certain amount of likes, then I might consider a part two. <laughs> I can't take this game seriously. But anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Also, please share my videos. It helped me a lot. Um, let me know what you think. If you want me to play the rest of it, let me know. Um, and like I said, if you get, if you've been offended by anything you've seen in this game through, I don't give a toss. To put it bluntly. Uh, but anyway, thank you for watching. I've been the Kippinator. Until next time, see you later.